Heaven's California Hey guys, it's time we got into a Mort video. Um, it's about seven minutes long, I believe, or six and a half. Good. Yeah, about six and a half. So, creepy van driver horror story animated. Um, I'm not gonna waste much time. I'm just gonna be, uh, well, uh, like I always do now. Be sure to subscribe if you are new. Uh, be sure to turn on the notification bell as well. I'm on the way to 2K, and for all those that already have subscribed, thank you. I know, I know that I get more and more every day, just slowly but surely. So, then thank you to the ones that do subscribe and are subscribed already. And yeah, let's get to 2K. We can do this, guys. And if you do like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And again, let's get into this. I was 19 at the time of this story. Okay. I was living in Littleton, Colorado at the time. For the brief amount of time that I lived there, I had many crazy situations that happened. Of course For now, I will tell you about one in particular. It will help to know what I looked like so you can better understand why this may have happened to me. As I said, I was 19 at the time. I stood at 5'7", 130 pounds. She I has more than I do. colored <laughs> hair, bright red, okay. several facial piercings, and arm and chest tattoos. It was a warm day, so I was wearing very comfortable clothes, shorts, and a tank top, along with a pair of flip-flops and a sun hat. Because of the previous encounters that I've had, I stopped taking night walks. That day, I let my boyfriend take my truck to work, since I didn't have to work that day. And okay. I had no plans. But I wanted to surprise him at work and take him to dinner after he got off. So I started walking up Broadway towards Colfax. Now, if you've ever lived in the Denver area for any amount of time, I haven't. people will generally warn you about Colfax Avenue. It's busy, and some sketchy activity takes place on that street. Of course. But for some reason, my oh-so-awesome roommates did not warn me of the many horrors that awaited me on Colfax Avenue. Okay, maybe I'm being a bit dramatic, but my experience was not pleasant. So back to the story. I turned from Broadway onto Colfax. As soon as I turned, it was like stepping into another world. There was a bus stop. I'm pretty sure I saw some guy taking bumps pressed up against the nearest building. Several homeless people were laying and sitting in various places up the street. Two women were screaming at each other about something that I didn't care to gather. I walked quickly for two or three blocks with my heart in my throat. I am not cut out for this sort of social interaction. Me neither. I accidentally made eye contact with a dirty man lurking in an alleyway. One eyes like. I quickly averted my eyes to my flip-flops and kept walking. After a few blocks, the crowd thinned, and I was feeling less on edge. In fact, I was actually starting to enjoy my walk. But then I noticed this van. It was parked across the street, Sus. trying to look inconspicuous. I saw the driver slide down in his seat, as if he was trying to avoid being seen. Sus. I couldn't make out the details, but I could see that he was an older man with a dark complexion and short black hair. Are you, are you, you got people in that van, don't long. you? I committed this creeper van to my memory. It was white, with tinted windows, no company markings, and no front driver's license plate. Red flags were going off in my head, but I pushed away the feeling. I walked another block now, or two, not, now you're happy and again? I see the same van creeping up a side street. I get a nervous chill, though I press on, trying my best not to look frightened. After another couple of blocks, I see this van again. I didn't like where this situation was heading, so I stood my ground and faced the van, staring straight into the man's face and waiting for his reaction to me noticing him. To my horror, he gets out of the van, slamming the door behind him. Who the fuck are you? He was a short Hispanic man, shorter than me, but definitely bigger. My mind is racing as he runs across the road towards me. I'm frozen to the spot. I wasn't expecting this. Can I help you? As soon as he reaches me, he starts speaking in broken English, but I can mostly understand him. He compliments me. He says he likes my hair, piercings, freckles, and my ass. Don't, don't care. Oh, joy. Extremely uncomfortable by this point, I awkwardly thanked him. He then propositioned me for sex. I nearly choked and asked him to repeat himself. Not sure if I was hearing him correctly. But he pulled out $200 from his wallet 
and offered it to me if I would have sex with him. No. I take a step back, partially telling him that I'm not that kind of girl, and he's barking up the wrong tree. Perfect. I turn around, and as I did, he grabs my ass. Excuse me. I then speed walk away from this man, trying my best not to panic and formulate a plan. Do not fucking touch me, bitch. The man follows me. Waving the two hundred dollars around like I don't care about your two hundred dollars. You can frick. I run to the first door I see and yank it open. As soon as I rush in, I run directly into a bouncer. I then fall back on my ass with a yelp. The bouncer helps me up and asks me why I was in such a hurry. This is perfect I'm still in shock at this point, and he asks me to see my ID. I look around and I realize that I'm in a pub. I then yep. tell him on the verge of tears that I'm only nineteen. And I was trying to hide from a man who was following me outside. I'm practically having a panic attack as the bouncer guides me to the bar and fetches me a glass of water. The bouncer wanted a description of the man. He tells me to hang tight and disappears out the door. Good. After a few long minutes, he returns and tells me that the man won't be a problem anymore. What's he do? But I am still reasonably frightened. Soccer. The bouncer then asked me where I was heading. I checked the GPS on my phone, and I was only two blocks away from my boyfriend's job. The bouncer then clocks out on his break, and offers to walk me the remaining two blocks. I beamed and latched on to the man's arm, thanking him profusely. Yeah, he pats my him. head and laughs, and he told me never to walk down Colfax Avenue alone again, and I promised him that I would not repeat this mistake. Good. When we arrived at my boyfriend's job, I thanked the bouncer again and sent him on his way. I explained what happened to my boyfriend, and he laughed at me. Perhaps I deserved that, but no one had warned me of the dangers of that road. Exactly. I ended so up how not taking know? him to dinner that night, and I never walked that street alone again. So to the man in the creeper van, stay the fuck away from me, and keep your two hundred for something less creepy. Yeah, like, I don't know why guys always just like pull out money. Oh yeah, two hundred dollars for sex? No. Like, is it really worth it to get freaking an, an STD from an app for your nasty ass for two hundred dollars? No. Like, I don't want your money. I don't want your dick. I don't want your nasty ass. No. Bye. Like, I don't know why guys are always so creepy. Like, go away. I don't like you. Like, I don't. No, I don't like you. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't like you. That's it. Bye. Like. All right. Well, as long as you learned your lesson and you're never gonna do uh, go up that street again, then that's what you know. Like you learned your lesson, but of course no one like it's it's not like someone told you not to go and then you went anyway, you know? Like it, it's it's not like you knew in general, so it's like it's all your fault. So but I mean at least you know now. And at least you didn't, you know, do anything that bad, you didn't do anything bad at all. Like obviously rejected, you you know you you, you ran away obviously and then yeah, everything turned out okay. So but I wonder what that balance or guy did with that guy because he was like, Oh you don't have a rebel him anymore. What did you do to him? Well, that's going to be it for today, guys. Um, <clears throat> be sure to subscribe if you are new. If you have, have not seen me, me, me before, be sure to like this video as well. Be sure to turn on post notifications as well. And be uh, be careful. Stay safe because you never know who you're going to encounter. Like You, you, you just never know. And it's, it's scary to think because you never know. So stay safe and stay inside. That's, that's all I can say now. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys, and peace out. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> See you guys.